In this lecture, we are going to learn about the searching algorithms and their implementation in Python. Searching algorithms are algorithms that are used to find the presence or position of a specific element within a collection of data. Now, these algorithms help in efficiently locating desired items within a given data set or data structure. In Python, searching algorithms are significant for various reasons. Number one, efficient information retrieval. Searching algorithms allow us to quickly locate specific data elements, which is crucial in scenarios where large amounts of data need to be searched or accessed frequently. For example, searching algorithms are used in databases, search engines, and information retrieval systems to efficiently retrieve relevant information. Number two, data validation. Searching algorithms can be employed to check if a particular element exists within a data set. This is useful for verifying user input or validating data integrity before performing operations on it. For instance, when building forms or handling user interactions, searching algorithms help validate input values. Sorting and ordering. Now, many searching algorithms like binary search require the data to be sorted beforehand. In Python, sorting algorithms are significant for organizing data in a particular order, enabling efficient searching operations. Sorting is fundamental for various applications, including data analysis, data processing, and optimizing search efficiency. Number three, decision making. Searching algorithms can also be used to make decisions based on the presence or absence of specific elements in a data set. This can be beneficial for implementing conditional logic or branching in a program. For instance, determining if a username already exists in a database before allowing registration. So in conclusion, searching algorithms in Python play a significant role in efficiently locating, validating, and processing data elements within collections, leading to improved information retrieval, decision-making, and data manipulation capabilities. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the linear and binary search algorithms. So let's start with the linear search algorithm. Linear search sequentially checks each element in a list until the target element is found or the end of the list is reached. Let us understand the implementation of the linear search algorithm using this code. The function called linear search takes two parameters, ARR, that is an array or list, and target, the value we want to search for. The function uses a for loop to iterate over each element in the array. The loop variable i represents the index of the current element being checked. Inside the loop, it checks if the current element at index i is equal to the target value. If a match is found, it means the target value exists in the array. So the function immediately returns the index i where the match was found. If the loop finishes without finding a match, that is, the target value is not present in the array, the function will reach the return minus one statement. This indicates that the target value was not found and minus one is returned to signify the absence of a match. To use this function, you can call it with an array and the target value you want to search for. It will return the index of the target value if found or minus one if not found. Let's take an example to understand the usage of the linear search algorithm in Python. 
In this example, the function will search for the target value of 9 in the numbers list. Since 9 is present at index 2, the function will return 2 and it will be printed as the output. Next, let us move on to the binary search algorithm. The binary search requires a sorted list and repeatedly divides the search space in half until the target element is found or the search space is empty. It compares the target element with the middle element and reduces the search space accordingly. Let's understand the implementation of the binary search algorithm using this code. The function binary search takes two parameters, ARR, which is a sorted list of numbers, and target, which is the number we want to search for. The variables low and high are initialized to the indices of the first and last elements of the list, respectively. The while loop is used to repeatedly divide the search space in half until the target is found or the search space is exhausted. Inside the while loop, the variable mid is calculated as the average of low and high using integer division. It represents the index of the middle element in the current search space. If the middle element ARR mid is equal to the target, we have found the desired element. In this case, we return the index mid. If ARR mid is less than the target, it means the target may be in the right half of the search space. We update low to mid plus 1 to exclude the left half. If ARR mid is greater than the target, it means the target may be in the left half of the search space. We update high to mid minus 1 to exclude the right half. If the while loop completes without finding the target, it means the target is not present in the list. In this case, we return minus 1 to indicate that the target was not found. Let's take an example to understand how binary search works. In this example, we have a sorted array 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and our target value is 7. The binary search algorithm is applied to find the index of the target value in the array. The output will be target found at index 3. This means that the target value 7 was found at index 3 in the array. Binary search is an efficient algorithm for searching in sorted lists because it repeatedly divides the search range in half. This allows for faster search times compared to linear search algorithms, especially for larger arrays. Finally, we have a clear understanding and working of the linear and binary search algorithms with their implementations in Python. That's all for now.